We're taking a look at ways we can improve the data structure and format in this sheet. And we're talking about data validation. One of the things this sheet uses is X's to indicate something is maybe true or valid about this particular row and column. However, it doesn't necessarily have that much meaning or a very specific meaning. So there's a new data validation function that allows you to add a checkbox and assign whatever meaning you want to the checked and unchecked values. So let's recreate this started column and apply the true and false checkboxes to that. So what we'll do is we'll, we've added our column. I'm going to select the column and I'm going to go to data, data validation. Under criteria, I'm going to choose the checkbox option. And you can check on use custom cell values to set your own values for checked and unchecked. Maybe you want checked to be yes and unchecked to be no. Uh, if you're wondering why it matters what the values are, if you're looking at the value of that cell in a formula, for example, you would need to know or specify what those are. If you use the custom ones, again, it's just going to be true and false for checked and unchecked. I'm going to go ahead and save that and you'll see now I have checkboxes in all these. So instead of having an X that has really no value or meaning in it, I can add these checkboxes and it's really easy to enter data now in those cells.